gonna start by creating an artboard. This is a 10 by 10 artboard, nice and square. We're gonna turn this white background and make it black. So you wanna go here, go to your color, drag it to black. So this first demonstration, we're gonna create a brush using text. So to do that, you want to hit the wrench, press add text, and we want our text to be white. So I'm gonna drag this over, cool. Now our text is white, we're gonna scale it up a little bit, and we're gonna put it in the center. I'm then going to change this, instead of saying text, I'm gonna use my initials. So we're gonna to go to our text layer, we're gonna hit edit text. Once we edit our text, we want to go, we want to delete the word text and I'm going to do a J B H. Perfect. Now we have our text layer here, our background layer, which is black and then our artboard. So now we want to copy this text layer to create our brush. So you can do this two different ways. You can do the easy um, three gesture swipe down and it'll pull up a panel and you'll have cut, copy, copy all, duplicate, cut and paste. We wanna press copy. If you don't wanna do it that way, you can always go to the wrench and where it says copy, you press copy and it'll copy the layer. So those are two options to copy a layer. Now, now we have our layer copied. We wanna go to our brush panel. We wanna press new because we're creating a brand new brush right so once we get here you want to go to shape and where it says shape source you want to click that circle on the right and then want to go to import so what we're going to do is we're going to import our pasted text into our shape editor which creates the brush paste boom so it done Done again, and now your font is now a brush. We've done that process, we've done that step. So two things before we can initially start using our brush, and you don't have to do this. This is something I like to do to kind of solidify that this brush is ready to go. I'm gonna go to stroke path, then I'm gonna increase the spacing to 100%. That allows the brush to be separate and doesn't create that seamless line. I just want it to be separate like a stamp. Um, next, we're going to go to our properties and you see where it says brush behaviors, maximum size. I like to bump that up to like, uh, let's say between four, about 450. Yeah. If that seems to be too small, you can then scale it up and now we can see our brush grow. But remember, you also can scale your brush in the artboard. So we're gonna keep it at 450, around the 450 range. Press done. We're then gonna go here. We're gonna remove our text because we already have the brush. Go here and now our first brush is up here. Then boom, now we have our own stamp brush. So this is great for creating wallpapers, um, wrapping paper for Christmas or birthdays, or even having a digital stamp or a digital signature, because I use digital signatures with my art. This will be a perfect example for digital signatures. Now that I've shown you how to create a brush using text, I'm gonna show you how to create a brush using some sort of line art. Um, now, so new brush, same process. New brush, I'm uh, oh, sorry, new layer. Then we're going to go to white. I'm gonna draw something simple. Um, all right, so now that we have our new layer, scale this layer up a little bit. This is a leaf. <laughs> my, my poor attempt I'm drawing, of drawing a leaf. So then I'm gonna copy my layer, press copy. Then we're gonna go here, new brush. Sorry. New brush. We're gonna 
space. I'm gonna go to shape, import, paste. There's our brush or there's our design, which now is a brush. That changes, let's go to our properties. We want to scale this up just a bit. Remember that 400 range, 450. I'm gonna press done. Sorry. We're gonna de delete this layer, add a new layer. And this is our new brush. Let's see. Now remember you can scale this up so you can have a larger brush. Yep, so there you have it. Um, it's an easy, easy method. Something I think everybody should have. Creating your own brushes are so important in the creative space. Thank you for watching another Rebrand Creative tutorial. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And if you have a comment or you wanna see something new, feel free to leave it in the comment section on this video or other videos on my channel. So I greatly appreciate love and support and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.